all right now let's set up our project so i'll open this my main course folder and all right i have it on my other screen and i'll just create a new folder inside of it so Control shift n and then i'll just call that folder main hyphen task hyphen app all right hit enter and let me open this folder in visual studio code so i'll right click and then i'll just say git bash here which is how i just like to open my project i'll say code and dot and if i hit enter it's going to open that new empty folder i just created in visual studio code all right so i have it here in my other screen i'm just going to drag it in so we can see yeah so this is the folder i like to have my project side by side yeah so this is fine it's a perfect setup now what do we want to do what we want to do now is we want to initialize our repository um we want to initialize this project with npm so let me just close this get started and then i'll just open up my terminal so open up your terminal and in your terminal i'm just gonna say npm init and i'll just say dash y so npm init dash y and i'll hit enter what this will do is that it will create a package.json file now we've seen this before actually that's why i actually wanted to do some of those basics before all right so you see here now we now have package.json inside of this package.json if you open that you see some you know just boilerplate that we have here and that's fine i'll close this up for now now that i have package.json what this means is that i can install um some things that we need all right so for me i'm just going to install express first why because express is the framework that we need to um what's it called you know create our back end so i'm just going to say npm and then install i express then i'll hit enter so give that a couple of seconds because it should take just a few seconds to install all right so installation of express is complete now next i'm going to create a special folder that's going to contain all of the files and folders of the back end code so I'll, I'll click on this point here because i want to create that folder in the root i'll click on this new folder and then i'll just call this back end and hit enter so this is my back end folder so subsequently when we start working on the front end I'm also going to have a front end folder that's just going to be side by side the back end folder now this brings us to a question when you want to create a full stack app where do you start now for my personal preference I prefer to start with the back end so creating the back end I'll create all the API endpoints and everything that needs to be on the back end and the server and then when I start creating the front end I'll just be interacting directly with the back end that has already been you know set for me so that's just how i like to set up things some people like to create the front end first but i think most people like to start with the back end and as we go ahead you're going to see why creating the back end is kind of better so inside of this back end folder i'm going to create the server folder so let's just do server uh is that server okay server dot js so that's going to be our root folder where we're going to you know have our app created our express app created all right great so um because i would like to have this um uh what's it called the course broken down into several parts so this is going to be the setup video in the next one now we're going to create our express server all right thank you so much i'll see you in the next one all right guys so now in this one we are going to create a server with express js so but before i do that i would like to initialize this project with git so i'll just come here and i'll say git sorry git init to initialize the project i'll hit enter and it will initialize the project and just give it a few seconds all right so you see here we now have this um number here 428 which means that there are 428 files currently in this folder but what you want to do is you want to add a git ignore file because this node modules is a very large um, file you don't want that to be pushed to github so i'm just going to come here create a file and i'll call that dot git uh, ignore 
then i'll hit enter and then inside of this dot git ignore file i'm just going to specify that i don't want to push the node underscore modules folder and then i'll save that so watch what happens to this number here okay so you see now it now says four so technically there are four files that we need to uh, we're going to push to uh, what's it called github if we ever decide to push all right so that's it for this one then also i would be creating branches for every section in this particular video so the way you can do that is i'll just click here and i'll create my first commit so i'll just say um initial commit or no 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 i'll just say um project setup project project setup because that's what the previous uh video was about i'll copy the uh i'll press control and enter to you know create that commit and then i'll just create a new branch so i'll come here click on master and then i'll say create new branch from the name of the branch is going to be one and project setup i'll hit enter i'll hit enter and then i'll create that branch from the master branch which i worked on previously all right great so now what this means is that when i upload to github you're going to see all the sections so project setup and then like that you're going to see all the sections that we work with i'll go back to the master branch and then we're going to set up our node server so to set up your node server uh, we're going to come here inside of our server.js and remember the first thing we need to do is we need to bring in express so i'll say const express and that's going to be equal to require you see i'm a little bit faster here because we've done this before so i'll say require express right so we've brought in express and then i'm going to initialize express by saying express and like that i'll call it but i want it to be assigned to a variable name called app all right now that i've done that all right so next we need to listen for the our express app so i'm going to say app dot listen and then i'll just open that up and here remember the first thing we did was we added a port number now in the previous um example we uh, worked with when we created our first express app we actually added the number 5000 here but remember this application we are creating is going to be on heroku server this particular one is going to be on heroku server and heroku server is going to provide us with the port number so it doesn't make sense to specify the port number like this so you know what we do in that case what we do is that we create a special file which is a .env file. env just stands for environment and technically that's where we store some variables that we uh, that is likely going to change when we upload our application to the server. Now, I've not created the .env file now, but what I'm going to do is I'll create a variable and I'll call that variable port. So this is going to be capital letter port because when we save um, things in our .env file the convention is to use capital letters so capital letter port and for me to reference what exists in my .env file i'm going to say process dot env then dot the name of the variable in the .env file like i said .env file is just a special file that we are going to create and we're going to store variables that would likely maybe change when we upload our application to the server or variables that we don't want to be uploaded to github so maybe like your api keys for example you don't want that to be uploaded to github you're going to save it in your .env file so in this one port is going to be process.env dot and then the variable name that's going to be called port now i'm not going to add an or so or and then i'll then say 5000 so what this means is that when we upload our application to Heroku, it's going to first look for this variable name in our .env file. And you don't even need to create this. It's automatically created in Heroku. All right. Now let's come here. So instead of saying 5000 here, I'm going to point to this port. So I'll come here and say I want to um, connect to the port variable. I'll add a comma and then I'll now add my callback function. So the callback function let's open it up with an arrow function and do a console.log 
So console.log and I'll just use my back ticks here because I want to actually point back to this port. So in the back ticks, I'll say server running on port and then I would use my string interpolation syntax to say port. All right, so that's about it for setting up our server. We're done setting up our server. All I just need to do now is to save this file and then come here and run. Let's just do something simple. I'll just say node. Sorry. I just need to expand this so that you can see it clearly. Okay, so here I'll say node. And what's the name of this file? Server. So server. And then I'll hit enter. So let's see if it works. Um... I'm getting some kind of error. Let me just be sure. Oh, okay. I think I maybe I made a typographical error somewhere. So what does it say here? Node server cannot find module. Okay, okay. I think I know what's wrong. So the slight problem we had is that the server is not in the root folder. So from this task app, we're just pointing directly to the server so what we should have technically done is we should have said node and then we first go into the back end you know we have a back end folder this folder here right before we now created the server inside of the back end folder so we'll say back end first then forward slash server and that's it so let me just add the dot js and then hit enter and that should just work perfect Alright, so you see now we now get this um, information here, server running on port 5000. Great. So now we've been able to create our server and it works perfectly. So in the next one, we're going to, you know, make it such that we can run our command from the package.json file. Alright, see you there.